I got a question for you guys. Which one of these balls is going to bounce higher when I drop it? Okay, it doesn't matter. They're going to be dropping from the same height. But which one do you got? So I want you to comment below before you watch the video. No cheating, okay? So real quick, the reason that this is important is that we're gonna tie into, we're gonna give you a little warm up series and talk about why it's important for you guys sprinting in two seconds. But for now, which one you got? Ready? So as you guys tell, the lacrosse ball obviously bounce higher because it's stiffer, it's more reactive and it's gonna cause you to bounce off the ground, okay? Versus if you can even hear the difference when this one hits the ground, it's damp, it thuds, it's more like a tomato, okay? So this is super highly reactive and bouncy. This is a tomato, okay? So now, the reason that this is important is a lot of athletes don't understand the importance of how stiff you need to be when you strike the ground when you're sprinting, okay? So a lot of times, the tomato, the giant yellow ball, people hit the ground like this, and they don't transfer force, and they lose force, and so it causes them to sprint um, slowly. So, so a lot of kids when they strike the ground they hit it with the toes down and they have a soft foot and they're not reactive off the ground. It takes a lot of time and they also lose force, okay? Versus if an athlete strikes the ground and their toes are already pulled up, you can even hear the difference of that versus it sounds like a dull thud, okay? So you're definitely not going to go faster and you're probably going to break an ankle if you do with the toes down. So. Even when you guys are doing your sprint deals, I want toes up. When you guys are sprinting, I want your toes up. We need to ingrain this habit again in you guys if you want to be faster. So we're going to run you through our rudiment series that's going to teach you how to be stiff off the ground, how to be quick, reactive, and transfer all that force so you guys can be faster athletes. So we're going to start with double legs backwards. It's just a little bit easier for you guys to keep your heels off the ground, stay tight. So same thing, we're going to start going backwards and we're focusing on applying force and getting up, okay? So we're focusing on getting bouncy, getting stiffness, okay? Just being quick and bouncy off the ground. So we start with double leg backwards. Then we're gonna go back, same thing. We are going to do double leg forwards. So again, get your ribs tight, get your thighs tight, toes up, use your arms, pop off the ground, spend as little time as you can, and your heels should not hit the ground, okay? So that's part two. Once we get that, we're gonna go single leg backwards. We're gonna do both sides, okay? So we'll just do one for the video, keep it short. So now you got all your body weight on one leg, which is insanely more hard, okay? So same thing, we're gonna get your rhythm. Try to be as quick and light as you can off of one foot. Make sure you guys hit up both sides, so that'd be three and four. The last one we'll do is lateral single leg. So we can go double leg, single leg, bunch of different variations beyond the scope of this video for you guys, but same thing. You guys do the same thing lateral, so that way you strengthen your ligaments, tendons, everything uh, going through your ankle joint. Because again, you guys have such high forces and high velocities going through not only your muscles, but your ligaments, your tendons, and you need to be able to create that stiffness because you have crazy forces going through your body, okay? So this is a drill that helps you do that. Now, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up for me, click the subscribe, okay? And then what I want you to do is click the link down in this video below. We put together an advanced speed training series for you guys. So go ahead, toss your email in there. Uh, I'll send it to you directly. It's videos, it's gonna be top notch. You guys are gonna love it. So I'll catch you guys next time.